Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the IAQA, bringing you a tech tip on droplet nuclei. If someone with an infection coughs or sneezes, how far do the viruses and bacteria travel? Most of the viruses and bacteria travel only short distances on large particles. However, there are a few examples where viruses and bacteria can travel great distances throughout a building. To explain how they accomplish this feat, I must introduce you to droplet nuclei. Droplet nuclei are the dried residual of droplets, typically generated from the respiratory system. Consider for a moment a tuberculosis patient who's coughing. You can imagine all the droplets of saliva and sputum that come out of that cough. Most of the large droplets will fall to the ground due to gravity. However, some of those droplets in the air may be small enough and suspended in the air long enough to actually evaporate. It's the saliva in the droplet that evaporates, leaving behind a dried residual bacterium or virus. That dried residual is the droplet nuclei. Droplet nuclei are traditionally defined as being 5 microns in aerodynamic diameter or less. Because they're small size, droplet nuclei can travel for long distances throughout a building. Therefore, the spot where someone gets exposed to the disease, that's not necessarily the same spot where the original source is from. Diseases that can be transmitted via droplet nuclei include tuberculosis, Legionnaire's disease, measles, and chickenpox. If you'd like to learn more about droplet nuclei, consider taking the one-hour class titled Building Related Illness in the IAQA University.